Hi, I'm Game God. It's time for more Let's Play Metroid Prime. There may or may not be a twist. So, um, got to here last time. The top of the snowy water room type place, my bob. And, uh, there's a door over here that we can go in. I think I might go in there. Oh no, it's you again! You are the exact same turret. Actually, you know what? Whoa, whoa, buddy! Who the heck are you? You just kind of distracted me or something. Oh, man. That's a shadow pirate. Ooh, he's scary. A select group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloak and technology. Oh, man. They're crazy. Uh, so these guys, them space pirates. Uh, okay, we get to see one kind of die right in our face. It's awesome. Yeah, you can make those guys glitch out with the wave beam. That's always fun. I was trying to scan this thing, because I think that disables it. I, I guess maybe not. I don't know. So, that was the first room. Good start. <laughs> and, um... Uh-oh. Cutscene. Uh-oh. It's a thing that I probably should shoot, but decided not to. Uh-oh, it's a trap! Wah! How could I have fallen for such an easy to figure out thingy? I don't even know. So, this is obviously Space Pirate Land. Home to Space Pirates. <laughs> so, um, you know, gotta watch out for those guys. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of them, and then the cool music's gonna be all playing and whatnot. And once uh, the cool music stops, you're pretty much set to go. Um,. There we go. See? <laughs> you basically have to kill all the guys before you can move on. So, um, yes. I saw a turret up here, and I'm not gonna go up there unless it's dead. Because, <laughs> uh, I know it's there. I know, I know you are there, guy! I'm going to shoot ya, guy! Look at that, I just shot you twice! You're shooting all over the place like some crazy... I wanted to say bird, but that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It lacks all of the sense. Man, it's so poor. Hey, look, a map station. If you didn't scan one yet, you probably should, because now you have one less chance to scan one. There's stuff in my face. Yay, I can look at the map, but I don't want to, because the map is boring. I'd rather look at the compass. At least it tells me where to go. It tells me where the boss room is, but no, the map doesn't do that. You would think a map would be useful for placing important, you know, locations and such upon it, but apparently not. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I, I certainly didn't. So this guy, these guys don't go after you if you charge, but they go really fast. It's just kind of weird. It, it is indeed kind of weird. So, um... Yes, thank you for the screen interference, Mr. Guy. You are super helpful in every way. Thank you, Mr. Door, for taking forever. Wow, Blue Zone! <laughs> Hooray! I have uh, access to the place. It's wonderful. And immediately, it looks like I have friends. Friends! Be mine! I'm going to shoot electric balls at you, and you are going to love it should be noted, in case you haven't figured it out by the many times I've already done it, uh, the, 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 um, wave beam, that's what it is, it, uh, it stuns enemies, so, yes. Make sure you look around in this part, because some of these computer monitors, like these over here, have red stuff, which means, heck yeah, pirate data, oh man, find some energy called phasing. Mutagen indicates a meteor of unknown origin impacting 20 years ago and expelled Phazon and it's uh it's good at mutating life forms and everything. These mutations appear promising! Oh man! <laughs> this doesn't sound like something horrible at all. So this is another pirate data. Um, mining operations have begun, and the phase on place. Mm, daily phase on yields have increased to 44%. 
deaths have increased by 44%. Ironically. Mm, so phazon induced madness has been reported. That's not a good thing. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and the most extreme cases, hallucinations. But not cookies. Cookies are not one of the symptoms. So, um... If you see cookies, it's probably the hallucinations. <laughs> so, um, yes. Most terraforming and retrofitting of security places on Talon Knot 6 is complete. And we can continue to a place and the door records show no unauthorized entries. No creatures are getting in on this day. I don't think so. We have a lot of uh, small breaches and plug them up and uh, never achieve full extermination. Well, you guys are lazy, man. You gotta, gotta step up your game here, man. Really now. Alright, so. Uh, that's an elevator thingy. I can use it to go up on the elevator. After we're done, like, you know, reading absolutely everything, you know, to the best of our ability, obviously. Oh no! You fell down from the ceiling! That was completely unexpected in every possible way! Yeah. Whoa! You did it again! How could you fool me twice? I don't even know. Alright, so... Oh no! You were just standing there! You pushed me off of a cliff! How could I do that? How could you do this? Why would I say, how could I do that? Like, I don't know. You're like, kinda halfway standing on air there, buddy. That's illogical and confusing. Do any of you have a thing to say? Well, there's a turret up there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that there thing, because I don't want to deal with it. Um, these are boxes. You can break them if you want. Remember, boxes? Boxes? They're pretty great. I would recommend boxes every day. Do I have to scan these things? I don't remember. But, uh, now I get to fall down and have a second chance at, uh, something or other. Oh, you're- <laughs> I was confused because there was a scannable thingy just kind of around. Man, this is gonna be the scan-happy episode. I can just tell. I can just tell. I'm stuck on a thing. I don't want to be stuck on a thing. Why is there snow in here? Why- why is there- why is the elevator not going up? Why is there snow in here? Why, man? Why? I don't understand. Someone's gotta shovel that stuff out, man. <laughs> what kind of respectable pirate has snow in their base? That doesn't even make any sense. You there! Sir, are you the janitor? Well, uh, I hope not, because you're dead. So, <laughs> yes, uh, pirate data. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, initial tests exposing Talon Not 6's indigenous thingies are are successful. Well, strength and size are also super powerful. And unforeseen evolutions like poison sacks and not poison sacks and, and the abdomen appearance of a second ring of mandibles and then the creatures have resilience and oh man Phazon is like super great. They can survive on any planet we transport them to. Methods will have to be refined there's a 100% extinction rate. Oh, <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. No animals were harmed in the making of this video game. N none from this planet, anyways. <laughs> ah, let's see. Research Outpost Glacier 1. That's a great name you got there. Talon Not 6's mountains are operating at 85% capacity, and, uh, metroids are sluggish and easy to control. Oh. Cold containment stasis and juveniles, and then some of the larger metroids are quarantined. Why are we talking about metroids? I don't like this. We can't talk about metroids in a game like this. That's just wrong. So, uh, preach in the secure area. Containment teams cannot neutralize all of them. I am fearful of I don't even know. It's awesome, I'm gonna say. So hey, that room took like way too long, and uh, this room 
thing over there. You're a turret! I thought you were something else for some reason. But, uh, turns out you're just a turret. My bad. I don't know. Ow! No, you're all glitchy and whatnot. Stop it, man. Stop it. I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but, um... The wave beam kind of has homing properties going on here. So, um, you know, if you're gonna shoot at stuff, it might be, uh, within your best interest to go ahead and, uh, wave beam it up or something. I'm just gonna use that, because then I don't have to worry about them glitching out. I kind of always seem to forget at this point that, uh, hi, <laughs> that the power beam is still a thing, because, um, the wave beam just becomes pretty useful here for a while. So, um, you know, that's... Just how things go, I guess. Oh man, where are you at? Why are you here, Mr. Guy? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be dead. Okay, come on. Do it right, okay? Do it right. Serious, man. Serious. I, I, I'm Samus the Aran. You cannot stop me from uh, activating a cutscene and then a little spinny thing. Little spinny thing, huh? I'm gonna scan that spinny thing after I scan this. More pirate data, huh? Hmm. Scans of the spiral sector have indicated massive energy spikes. Oh no, a planet called Talon Not Six. That's a scary name. We're gonna have to go there immediately and figure out why it's not a six. And then, uh, Turning to planetary samplings and atmospheric imaging and then radioactive material. That's not good. Gotta gotta find that unlikely energy source. It's powerful again. Analysis will continue. It'll be a viable secondary headquarters. Why yes it will, obviously. I mean I'm not murdering all of you at all. Not at all, man. No, no, not at all. What are you, what are you talking about? Phazon mining is underway. You probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, security systems are operational, and then uh, Fendrana drifts have proven to be optimal for uh, research, Mabob. And then combat base, uh, starport, and then, uh, something about half true, and then the sector within a deca cycle, whatever the heck that is, times. Good times, good times. Alright, so now I can scan this thing. Holographic sequence initiated! Whoa! So, um, there's a bomb slot there, huh? Bomb slot there. Wow, there's lots of stuff up here and I can't scan any of it. That makes me sad. Did I ever scan the bomb slot? Why, well, yes I did. I I'm, for some reason, very forgetful of things that happened in the past. Sad day, I know. Oh, we're gonna play the puzzle music now, huh? Hmm, this is a very crafty puzzle you've got there, game. Oh, how am I gonna get up there? That's gonna be like literally and figuratively impossible. But mostly the first thing. It's like, seriously, how in the world am I ever going to get up here? There's no way! I'm never gonna get up here. Never! The world is dead. Doomed. Doomed. Uh, also, there's things on the ground. I should probably, should probably go inside of them and spin. Whee! Yay! That was so fun. I think I'm gonna do it three more times. Whee! I'm not getting dizzy at all. Whee! 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 And then one final time for good measure. Assuming I, I can actually get in. Ooh, I mean, um, yes, that action was completed very professionally. Mm, yes, sir. Whoa! Shiny and sparkly solar system! That's always awesome. Hey, there's a thing up there! That's even better than space. <laughs> Nothing's better than space. Nothing at all. So, uh, make sure you scan some of these, because it'll tell you stuff. Planet! Not Zebus, because screw that name. And, uh, let's see, it's a lot of stuff. It's inhospitable for bioforms. Oh, Become a base for space pirate forces. Well, that's dumb. I'm gonna have to go kill those guys in the future. What a jerk. Man. Man. Tell
Magellan, not six. Hmm. Ecosystem studies have said that it's a biological paradise prior to some extraterrestrial object. And, um, it's slowly fading. Phazon radiation. Man, this phazon keeps getting brought up a whole lot today. That's just crazy. It's gonna be a wasteland in approximately 25 years. Well, this LP better not go on very much longer, if you ask me. There's also a bunch of other random little planets here. Um, not much to speak of. I think those are the two that you just want to scan, because uh, they go into the logbook and everything. I don't know if these planets have, like, any real significance otherwise. I wanted to scan the sun, man. I don't, no, I don't want to scan that node. I want to scan the sun. That's not the sun. That's not the... I don't care if this is a quarantine planet. I want to scan the sun. Why can't I scan the sun? This is... This is dumb. I'm gonna go up there and get that thing. <laughs> Alright, so how do I get up there? Huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I was supposed to go the other way. I was supposed to go the other way, guys. I'm sorry. Whoa, man, there's like crazy text going on there. What is that? Like, space piratees? Is that even a language? I'm going to make it a language. Just you wait and see. Hey, there's a missile door. What is in the missile door? Ah, save room. I'll come back to that because I didn't forget about the super, super duper thing. Yay! I got the super duper thing! I am happy I'm going to swing my arm. I got the super missile! Yay! Now I can blow stuff up again. It's pretty great. So super missile. It's like a missile, only it's super. If you charge a beam and then fire a missile, kaboom! That was a very bad camera angle, because it kind of got absorbed by the lighting effects. Let's try that again. Yay! Wee! It wastes five missiles, though, so, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know. Exploring the space pirate base thing. I think I'll see you next time as we continue doing that thing I said. Now with super missiles. I'll see you later.